Hey guys, Final Master Link here. Gonna be streaming some more Pokemon My Ass. And I triple shirred, triple checked that I am not working tonight. Um, apparently my Monday and my Tuesday's shift were were switched for this particular week. So that's why I was thrown off when I had to suddenly stop the stream yesterday. But that's not gonna happen today, hopefully. Uh, if you could just give me a quick second here. I don't know why. It won't let me type in Pokemon Pokemon Fire Red. Like in um, Streamlabs. So I have to switch the category myself. Which is really fucking dumb. But that should have should have worked there. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Put this a little bit, you know, put this on Discord a little bit, I suppose, you know. A little Pokemon my ass today for everyone. Everyone gets to check out my ass again. Holy shit, two days in a row. Damn, what an honor. Uh, I didn't even look at... Okay, someone suggested I catch a Magikarp and name it Funky. That's kind of funny, actually. I might do that. Hmm. Uh, I think it's something. Oh, what's up, Walker? How's it going, man? Damn, you joined this shit quick, didn't you? No, no, Snorlax. It has to be a Snorlax. Well, I have to get a polka flute first, man. And I kind of forgot how to get one, to be honest. I think you get one from Mr. Fuji when you when you save him. See, if I remember right, I was right in the middle of trying to get a Jinx to, to get Maro a, a thought, so. Um, yeah, let's use the old rod for now. Also, yeah, what's up, Walker? How's it going? I'm doing pretty all right. I'm pretty much at a hundred percent from my uh, from my adventures at the club Saturday. Like for some reason, my my legs felt like absolute shit like yesterday. I don't really know why. And then the day before that, I think I had a fairly good, a fairly bad headache. Um, and yeah, I, I think I'm pretty pretty good now. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe the Jinx is actually on the water instead of fishing for it. Unfortunately, I do not have Surf, so... It's gonna be a bit of time before I can get one, before I can get Surf. Is, it, is literally all this is, is Shuppets? Is, is that all there is here? But yeah, guaranteed an actual full stream this time. I'm not going to be doing anything else today other than washing my car. Although that can be, you know, I can do that at any time, really. Probably go at least until 4.30 today. And we'll sit tonight. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch a Jinx from the water. That sucks. Oh, I forgot I even got this item, a powder jar. Huh. Maybe I'm supposed to have a... Uh, a super rod to help me. Also, I, I forgot my cat was actually outside, outside my window. Should probably let her in. Get my hoe to wash it for me? I don't have a hoe walker, unfortunately. Of course, if I did have a hoe, she'd be used uh, for a lot more than just washing my car, if you know what I mean. Giggity. Da, da, da. Fucking love the music in Pokemon, dude. Hell, hell, I remember one of my favorite tracks from Pokemon is the fight, uh, the, the Giratina fight in like the fourth gen. I always thought that had really epic music. Yeah, like washing the dishes. Yeah, you got that right, Walker. Put that hoe, put that hoe to work washing the dishes. That's it. 
Oh, what a cute little Togepi there. I kind of want to catch it just because it's adorable. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch a Jinx unless I, like, have the Super Rod or I'm able to actually, you know, surf on the water. So, oh well. We actually got to go up here. I mean, I don't have Cut. Well, well actually, hold, hold, hold that thought. Oh, you hope I practiced Gaston? No, I did not. So, yeah. I guess I fucked up, huh? But first, uh, I think I actually wanted to rename some Pokemons here. No. Wait, what? Oh, I, I guess he has to rate the nickname first. Uh, what about my Barboach? Yes, I want to give it a nicer nickname. Now, I don't really know what to call it. I was thinking of, uh, like, Shrimp, shrimp Dick or something like that. I don't know. If you guys got a better name, I, I'm all for it. I'm just... I, I can't help but think of, like, shrimp or, like, anchovies when I look at Barboach. But the thing is, not too long from now, he is going to evolve, so... So, like, what's a good name for a... A Whiskash? Shrimp Dick is good. Jabu Jabu? Actually, I like that name a lot. So that's a pretty good name. Also, what's up, Funk? How's it going, man? Yeah, I'm sorry I left you guys hanging last night or yesterday, but uh, yeah, I had to work. Huh. It's a good thing I made it to work in time too. I mean, normally I normally I'm at work around three o'clock anyway, so it is a better it is a better name than before. How fortunate for you? I would think so. I think I wanted to rename, uh, I think I have a name for Larvitar, since eventually it'll be a Tyranitar, um, what did I want to call it? How about, how about Skullfucker? I think that's too long, though. Like that, like a Tyranitar looks like he'd be into Skullfucking. Um, where's the F? There's the F. Or maybe, maybe Skullfuck will have to do. There we go, we got Skullfuck, guys. I, I'm just curious, is Skullfucking one word or two? <laughs> I would think it's two words. Because you're fucking a skull, so. Yeah, I think that'll do. For a name, it's one word. Okay. If you if I call a Magikarp funky, you should call the Snorlax Brie Larson. What is it with you and Brie Larson? Like like what is it? Why why are you so fascinated with her? Okay, I don't understand your fascination, dude. But hey, whatever. <laughs> this this Pokemon shall be known as Skullfuck. All right, the last one. Let's do the Curlia. Um, I thought about. Oh, wait, is it a is it a female or a male? I think it's a male. Eh. I think this is appropriate considering um, Gardevoir is kind of a humanoid Pokemon. How about just thought? I think that works. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> From now on, this Pokemon shall be known as Thought. <laughs> I'm having too much fun, guys. That is hilarious. That is awesome. Wait, don't keep reading. Oh, I, I, yeah, I already wrote that. Oh, that's right. Actually, to get cut, we have to go to SSN, don't we? Yeah. I totally fucking forgot this thing was here. Yeah, show you my ticket. Okay. Well, hell yeah. Let's get in this bitch. Imagine fucking Bray Larson is like throwing a sausage down an alleyway. You might you might be right, you might be right. Might be challenged by the more bored ones. Yeah, I'd be fucking bored on a cruise ship. Yeah, the strong silent type. Fuck yeah, that's me, bitch. 
Okay. You're a global police agent on the trail of Team Rocket. They're up to no, nothing good. Okay. I might as well face some of these guys. Maybe not all of them. I'm, I'm trying to... Uh... I know there's a pretty good joke in one of the cabins here. Like, there's a place you can rest in one of these cabins. There's a joke revolved around that I wanted to show off. All right, we got Blaziken here. Well, that'll be good because Thought can use Confusion, so. Come on. Take that bitch ass down. Yeah, get that XP, dude. Okay, even better. We got another fighting Pokemon we could take down here. Man. What I never... What? You fucking... Fucking bitch. Damn it. I guess get Jabu Jabu out. Um, let's just use Magnitude, whatever. How can Primeape use... Fury swipes if he doesn't have any fucking nails. That doesn't make sense to me. Don't make sense at all. Or at least Jabu Jabu is level 29 now. He went around the world for those. Well, we don't we don't fucking care, bitch. Yeah, I thought that kid would see us there. I love Pokemon, do you? I mean, not in the way that you probably do, dude. Giggity. All right, got a Hound Hour here. This works out. Just use Water Gun on him. I actually stayed up a little bit too much last night. I actually started to watch that uh, Parasite anime on, on Netflix. I've known about it for a couple of years, but Shoddy kind of reminded me that it even existed. And it's not a particularly long anime, so... Oh, you actually, you're not a trainer. Okay, whatever. Isn't it the third cabin here? No, that, that can't be it. Actually, no, I think it's on the other side here, isn't it? Waiter, I would like a cherry pie, please. Bitch! I'll mess up your cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such a pervert. I know there's one of these cabins where you can heal inside. Is it... Is it, like, downstairs here? Isn't it, like, uh... This... This one? Oh. Well, whatever. Even as sailors have Pokemon, too? Yeah, I would imagine probably water Pokemon unless this randomizer makes you get weird shit like an Aerodactyl but yeah, another thing I did last night in relation to Dark Souls 3 I went ahead and I leveled up uh, to level 33 I'm trying to remember what did I put my stats in I think I actually put um, uh I think I put two in my in my health, which I guess is what like my vit vitality or whatever. And I think I put one into stamina. Like I know I don't I know I didn't put any in attunement, and I didn't put any in faith or uh, what's the other one intelligence. So yeah. Also another thing which I don't know someone might have wanted to see it or maybe not. Um, I actually did take down that dragon that was in the first part of the game. Uh, I got my, or yeah, I got my dexterity up to 14, that's right. Um, so I can now use that, uh, the, uh, the bow. I, I figured out a way to actually attack the dragon with the bow and arrow. I'll probably, I'll probably show it, like, when I actually play it again i thought about actually like making like a mini clip of it on a playstation 
you know, like you can use the record to, to like record the past like five minutes or whatever gameplay. I thought about doing that actually for a bit, but unfortunately I was too late and I actually ended up, well, the thing is you don't actually kill the dragon. You just get him down to a certain amount of HP and then he just goes away, but you still get an item for beating him. So that's cool. I think I got a large Titanite shard. So that's, that's decent. I imagine you probably face that guy later somewhere. Ooh, a Solomon's, huh? Uh, I mean, I doubt water. Oh yeah, water good was gonna do dick. Solomon's looks like he's waiting on a dick. You sure about that? I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. He looks like he's about ready to kill someone, if you ask me. But yeah, that's the one thing I did in um, in Dark Souls 3 last night. Uh, also, I, I discovered there's actually a couple of... Damn, that was super effective, wasn't it? I, I discovered there are actually NPCs that can already sell me... Um, like soul arrows and shit. It was uh, that that one guy that I saved after I beat like the uh, the first area. Uh, turns out that guy comes to the Firelink Shrine and he'll actually sell you certain things. So I thought that was interesting. So I actually bought a great soul arrow um, spell from him. So hell yeah. I haven't, you haven't found the pyromancy guy yet? No, I don't think I have, Funky. None, none of the NPCs sell actual pyromancy spells. And I thought that was really strange. I must have, I might have to actually look up where his dumbass is. You think I missed him then? I'll have to go back. Well, actually, one thing I one, one thing that did happen, um, I didn't buy it yet, but I gave like some ashes to that like one chick at the very beginning of the game, um, and she actually started selling new inventory, and she actually sold a key for an area I think in the undead settlement, which is the very beginning of the of the of the place. So I think since the key isn't that much at all, it was only like fifteen hundred souls. I think what the game is wanting me to do is go back to that area to maybe get another NPC. That's that's what I think at least. Where the fuck is the area where you heal? I I, I didn't figure he I didn't figure this guy was a was a trainer if he had his Pokemon out there. You think you know where he is if I want to hit? We'll see when we'll see when it when it happens. You know, I'm trying to think. I think there's actually an upstairs where there are cabins. Maybe that's what I'm what I'm missing out on because I have not seen because I've not seen where I have to I've not seen a place to rest yet. Oh, you won't be around this weekend to watch. Oh, you going on a little trip or something? That's cool. Are you are you going clubbing this weekend? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Uh, probably should be using a different Pokemon. Three days of clubbing would be rough. Yeah, it would, actually. <laughs> Damn, I fucked up. Let's get Vibrator out here. Uh try a thunder punch up in this bitch I mean fuck it I might as well go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up though you know now when I was a kid I was really young I thought like I thought like you only had an X amount of times to to like leave the SSN and come back before it disappears for good 
but it wasn't until I was like probably a teenager that I realized, oh, it's not gonna let, it's not gonna go away until you have that HM, because you know then you'd be fucked in the game. He's got a fair amount of money there. Okay, yeah, I thought Jabu Jabu evolved at 30, so hell yeah to that. Evolve, bitch. Da da da. Yeah, he totally fits Jabu Jabu, dude. <laughs> that is funny. One thing I never got is like every cab has a bed, so why can't you just use their bed to heal? I don't understand that. Or maybe the other cabin people will be pissed if you do that. Maybe that's why. Right, let's go back and heal real quick. Wait, since when were tampons not a proper present, for fuck's sakes? What the fuck are you talking about, Walker? Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Do I really need to show you my ticket again, dude? Guy must have, like, short-term memory loss or something. Yeah, let me check if there are cabins upstairs here. Oh, okay, yeah, there there are. So is one of them the the heal one? Okay, this guy apparently caught a Snorlax too. Cool. They make great stuffing stuck, stuffing, uh, stuffing stuffers for Christmas. FYI, don't buy someone tampons as a present. I wasn't planning on it. Yeah, faced with a polytoad, bring out the thought, guys. That's, you know, this is the solution I present to the problem. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What does Parish Song do? Doesn't that kill me in like three turns or some shit? In which case, that's not good. Can I get a critical hit? Maybe? May I just... Fuck. Can I, can I switch him out real quick? Can I do that? Of course you're gonna put my dumb ass to sleep, you fucker. Well, of course he had enough sense to switch out real quick. I gotta check if I have an awakening here. I might have one. Yeah, I do. I ain't dealing with that bullshit. All right, Thunder Punch up in his face. <clears throat> I think my throat's acting up again. That's just great. At least I went to the bathroom before I started streaming. Seems like that always bites me in the ass. I'll just finish it off with Vibrator here. I do want to give Thought some more experience, though. Because I believe uh, Gardevoir comes out at level 30. I think. Yeah, you're all out. I'm sure. I'm sure. Always finish with the Vibrator. Thanks, Funky. You're probably not the only one that would that would agree to that sentiment. I bet Dragon would would agree to that too, actually. And probably Morrow and Shoddy and
I don't know, maybe Jin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Start with a vibrator finish by pulling out. I mean, everyone has everyone has their uh, their preference when it comes to vibrators, Walker. Okay. Also, I just noticed Jabu Jabu. Damn, you got a lot more health now. I think that's the first time I've th I've seen uh, three digits for uh, for this game at least. I like how rich you are, dude. Keep giving me more money. Stardust. I, I forget what Stardust does. I think that actually, um, I think you trade it for certain shit later. Like in the Sevi Isles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, uh, that's right, I, I gotta remember to... I need someone to learn cut. I guess that that's what I could keep a uh, victory bell for. For a second, I thought this was like a double battle or something. Like, I thought those two uh, opponents were going to see me at the same time. Because I know in, like, Pokemon Emerald, they have certain scenarios where it's set up like that. I might have to blow my nose in a bit. God damn it. There's always something that goes wrong with my body as I'm trying to stream here. Stupid nose pass. Tried to use Harden. One that has nothing to do with my attack at all. Trying to learn Calm Mind. Uh, it's a decent move. We can get rid of something, I'm sure. Uh, well, actually, I don't think I'm going to use Flash again. Oh, shit. So I can't get rid of Flash. Damn, dude. I know there's a... I'm pretty sure there's an NPC that can actually get rid of HM moves. I guess for now, let's get rid of uh, Growl then. Shit. Kabuto. Uh, I guess we can still fight. Go ahead and use Confusion. I'm kind of wondering what my uh, what my fossil will end up becoming when I have it restored. I remember I got the uh, Helix fossil from uh, Mount Moon. Let's fight this dude. Which do I find more worthy, a stronger or a rare Pokemon? Um, probably strong. I mean, this is Pokemon after all. Go ahead and take your dumbass down. Ammonite, Ammonite is a badass. I mean, it's okay. Well, well, the thing is, Walker, you know how I said I got the Helix Fossil. Uh, it can literally be any Pokemon. That's how the randomizer is set up. So, uh, I, I am interested what, what we're going to encounter here. Yeah, I'm trying to think. First time I've seen a Flygon. I'm not quite sure what to use. I guess I guess we could try Skullfuck on it. Well, the thing is, yeah, it's a flying type, but it's also ground, so is I don't think Rock Slide is really going to work. You fucker. I always thought Flygon looked kind of badass, though. Not going to lie. My attack missed? What? Oh, you're using sand attack, that's right. You fuck nut. Oh my god. Fucking bitch. It doesn't help that Rock Slide doesn't have 100% accuracy to begin with, so. I swear to god, if you flinch me one more fucking time. Well, gee, that wasn't worth it at all. Damn it, dude. Dude. 
Might as well lower his defense. Fuck you, bitch. I don't know how that was super effective, but okay. Get that bitch's defense lowered at the least for the next Pokemon to fuck him up. Stop flinching my ass, you fuck. This is a surprisingly tough Flygon here. At least I'm lowering its defense here. So that way whoever faces it next can fuck it up. Alright, um... I mean, since it's ground type, I guess Jabu Jabu would be the best route to go here. Probably. Bite is a special move, by the way. Or FYI. I wouldn't think it would be. Like, my dis... Like, kind of my criteria for special moves and non-special moves. If it's anything like that's direct physical con contact, then I'd call it, you know, regular attack instead of special attack. But all dark moves are special. That sounds fucking weird to me. Where the fuck is that one girl, dude? I know that's where you fight your rival. I don't know why that Pokedex is there. It's kind of weird. I'm not quite prepared to fight him yet. I wish I knew what fucking cabinet you could heal at, though. Yeah, I face I face these dumbasses. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess I didn't face them. Yo, talk to me. You always travel with Wigglytuff. I love. I you never leave home without it. Oh, not that adorable. Physical special split didn't happen until Gen 4. Really? Um, I thought they started doing that in Gen 2, unless we're confusing terms here. Or I'm confusing terms. I'm, I'm really not a Pokemon expert anymore. I mean, hell, I used to have, with one of my strategy guides for like, was it like Emerald or whatever, there's like this huge fucking spreadsheet talking about like all the type advantages and disadvantages and what was just like regular regularly effective it it's a pretty damn nice uh you know thing to have but i i totally forgot all that shit especially with new types being added to modern pokemon like well i mean the only one i could think of is is, is fairy because i'm trying to think what what was new type wise after gen 3 i, I can't think of anything other than fairy And like I, I remember talking to my buddy, and he's like, "Mill, how many, you know, how many more, uh, how many more type advantages can they have?" And I was like, "I could, I could see a type called Mythical being added. Like maybe Mythical takes down Fairy or something like that. I don't know." Although for the most part, I agreed with him. I said, "Yeah, for the most part, I think there's enough type advantages and balance in Pokemon nowadays." But I could see them adding like another, another type like Mythic. I could see that being a possibility. No, in Gens one to two, all moves in one type are only physical or special. So, for example, all Ghost types are physical, and all Dark attacks are special. Oh. Okay. Damn, Walker! Sounds like you should be playing this game instead of me. I'm getting plenty of money for this asshole. So I don't know where the fuck my cabin is. Oh. Oh yeah, here it is. You look so hot. Would you like to have sex with me? Hell yeah, I would. Yeah, this is this is the girl that... Yeah, she'll actually fuck you in the bed. And that's how you get... Oh, I'm sorry for fussing over you. You look like my little brother. 
That's fucked up, dude. That is fucked up. So yeah, there's your little joke there, guys. All right, I think I dealt with all the trainers in this in this part of the cabin. So let's go down. Oh, we already talked to you. I think there's more people to fight in like the cafeteria, actually. Was that your first time FML? Um, it wasn't my first time getting virtually laid. No. God damn it. Let me switch out here. You know, I kind of have a theory why that lady is there. She's probably a prostitute. She's probably a prostitute. Or she's a slut that just has a really crazy, uh, you know, brother complex. Like, she's... Never mind. I don't even want to get into that kind of stuff. Man, I fucking love this Thunder Punch, dude. Fucking love it. Might as well keep him out here. I probably shouldn't even bother taking down, like, every trainer in this game. It seems like I'm getting a pretty good amount of experience spread throughout. I mean, I haven't even taken on the second gym yet. Or the third gym, rather. I'll be doing that as soon as I fucking get cut. I still need to te teach that to a Pokemon. I guess I could give it to... to I could give it to Bellend. Just on account of I don't think I'm going to use him for too much longer here. You know what they say about sailors and battling? Uh, No, I don't. What kind of name is Leonard? Jesus Christ. I'm really glad that's not my name. Got a bee drill here. That kind of reminds me of Pokemon Go. I was, I've been trying to get a bee drill. Like I got a, a bunch of Kakuna, or not Kakuna. I got a bunch of Weedle candy, but I gotta, I gotta find more so I can get a bee drill. My, my goal right now is kind of to get all 150. All the, you know, all the original 150. Although I don't have a clue how I'm going to get a Mewtwo aside from, an, you know, an event. You know, I, there was actually a community day a couple of days ago. I think I might have mentioned it when I streamed Dark Souls. Um, there was a community day where you could get like a shiny Porygon in, in some shit. But the thing is, I was still recovering from uh, my, you know, adventures. So I just kind of wasted the day, didn't bother playing the game. That's fine. They have a community day at least like once a month, so. Um, I'm curious if I could take him down. I mean, I know confusion isn't going to really do anything. I wonder if Thought can learn a dark move, actually, like Pursuit, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to check that out at some point. Okay, since it's floating in midair, maybe I should switch to, uh, I don't know. Let's get Vibrator out, I guess. You know, the funny thing is, when I, when I have the Pokemon come out, it almost sounds like it's a Vibrator going off. You know, that, uh, either that or it sounds like an electric shaver. He doesn't have Levitate? Really? Well, I guess I fucked that up. I definitely know the Metagross doesn't, because it actually touches the ground. Like, whenever I see a floated Pokemon, I assume it has Levitate. He has clear body, okay. Well, this Metagross is going to get wrecked here in a bit. Damn, he got fucking wrecked! I didn't think I'd take him out in one hit. Okay, and I believe Mawile is also a Steel type, so... What a weird looking Pokemon. That might have been one of the weirdest Pokemon I've ever seen in Gen 3. Well, now it's dead. I mean, Jabu Jabu is getting a shit ton of experience now.
All right, cool. Let's take down the other bitch here. Matey, you're walking the plank if you lose. I'd like to see you try to make me do anything. Showed. Another fucking ghost? Or no, no, it's not a ghost type. It's a, it's a dark type, isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Damn it. And just wait until I learn fucking psychic and shit. Just you fucking wait. Ghost and dark? Oh. I thought he was just dark. Let's try and make a punch to his fucking face. Oh, that's right, he's a ghost. God damn it. Man, I can't remember anything. There we go. Thunder punch him. You know, I was about to question why would a ghost, why would a ghost type be able to use fairy swipes? But I, I think it's supposed to be like a, maybe it's supposed to be a minor reference to like, you know, how ghosts supposedly like leave, leave scratches on people's backs or some shit like that. That'd be a clever way to demonstrate that. I don't remember if I've dealt with anyone here. I probably have. Actually, if I remember it, I think you can actually get a leftovers in the... Like the trash can of the, uh, of like the, the cafeteria. Oh, oh, there's a hyper potion there. That's definitely nice. I know I've checked out that last one. Okay, so that's two cabins down. Well, I guess just real quick, let's go ahead and heal. Wrong, wrong cabin. That's not this game. Oh. Damn. I must be confusing it with another game. I can't get over I can't get over how good leftovers is as a held item. It's so fucking good. Leftovers are under Snorlax. Oh, okay. Well, I got a great ball here, so you know, I still can't buy them after all. Okay, whatever. Oh, they're Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Peel spuds every day. Oh, what a life. What a life. You saw an odd berry in the trash? I wonder what that was. Where? You mean one of these? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, there might be a barrier or something in the trash cans. Yeah, I'm glad the chef mentioned that. Okay. So now we go above. I don't remember if I talked to you or not. Hold parties, invited trainers. Now you see, if I would have adjusted the dialogue, I would have said, oh, we invite trainers to have uh, orgies on the ship. <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. Oh, I think some of these guys are trainers. No? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Walker's got my back. He's like my... He's like the Twitch version of an item finder. Got a trap inch here. You know, you'd never think that that trap inch would turn into a flygon. It looks totally different to me. Like, I can see the... Uh, like the second form, what was it called? Vibrano, Vibrava, whatever the fuck. Like that at least sort of looks like a Flygon. You know, premature. <clears throat> and fuck you and your hardened bitch. It's a reference to a desert bug in, in larva form. Uh, I suppose I get where you're coming from. 
I still think it looks I still think it looks a little bit different than what it should. Dude. There we go. I hope I have an antidote. Yes, I do. Thank God. Any potions? No. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm getting so much money anyways nowadays. It's like, whatever. You always thought Solomon's could be sh should be called Flyman or Flygon. Because Bagon, Shellgon, then when it grows up, Flygon. Yeah, I probably thought that at one point, too. That would make sense. Let's do a little jig. I don't fucking think so. Although, <laughs> although considering how I look, maybe Sailor Edmund is uh, is into is into that kind of stuff. See, I believe Combuskin is a fighting type. Yeah, so I know Torchic is not a fighting type by default. It's always a fire type. Which makes sense, because it doesn't even have, well, it does have arms, but it, you know, it's just kind of little, you know, little flaps. I think when I, I think when the games first came out, I didn't think Torchic had any, had any, uh, you know, arms at all. Let's switch out, uh, I don't know, let's... Uh, I think maybe Skullfuck could do it. I mean, it has, it knows bite, so. Let's try bite. You fuck. Man, I can't wait till his, I can't wait till he's a Tyranitar, but it's gonna be fucking forever. How the fuck did that do super effective damage? What the fuck? Dude. God damn it. I mean, I know sort of how Hidden Power works. Like, I think Hidden Power is supposed to take the form of the opposition to your uh, person's type. It, it's fucking weird. Level 45, if I remember correctly. Uh, I thought it was 55. If, if you're talking about when to get a Tyranitar, I thought it was 55. I fucking hope it's 45. That'd be awesome. Are you a trainer? No? Oh, there's only two guys here? Okay. I guess we can heal just real fast. And then take down probably the rest of the uh, cabin here. And then we can uh, go ahead and take down our rival. Man, we haven't faced our Riven in a while, if you think about it. Go ahead and have a fun time with you. Hidden power is assigned a random type and a random base attack between 1 and 60. Different for Pokemon. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it always had the base attack, like, set by default. That's interesting. Hidden power is such a fucking weird move, though. I don't know why I went down here. Huh. That was a nice little sound effect. Uh -uh. Just make sure I blow through all these dudes here. Okay, that one's done. I don't remember if this one's cleared out or not. Okay, that one's clear. Okay, yeah, I, I definitely I faced you guys before. It does from Gen 6, you think? Once you figure out what type it is, you're set. Huh. 
I just I just don't bother to to fuck around with it. I do not remember facing these guys, or maybe they're just visitors. I don't know. Okay, last cabin, and then I know there's a uh, I almost said a Robin fight there. A uh, rival battle there. Um, I mean, I really don't think I'll lose. Eh, fuck it. If I lose, I lose. It's not that big a deal, right? I got someone's Pokedex because I'm an asshole. Hey, Nate, this Pokedex is mine. Thank you for finding for me. How's your... How is my sweet ass going? I'm looking for it. Haha. <laughs> what, are you calling me gay? Do I look like I'm gay? But really? Uh, let's battle. Interesting. I think your rival is gay for you. Turd is gay for you. Who would have thought, guys? Oh, I got a Pikachu, huh? Well, I know exactly what to do with that. It can be worth it. Having a strong ice attack on your electric Pokemon would be very handy. Yeah. I'm sure it has some good uses for certain Pokemon. I just... I can't be bothered, pretty much, to, to learn you know, what would it be for, you know, X Pokemon here. This fucking Pikachu is going to spam that double team. So I never fucking hit it. I can already tell. Oh my fucking god. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Thank you. Alright, what else we got? Kingdra. Um, uh, I believe that's a water and dragon, so... Probably vibrator would be for the best. Thunder Punch. Okay, no, it's not super effective. Well, it's it's good enough though. Kingdra is awesome. I always thought it was pretty cool. Uh, now, if I remember it, I think Kingdra is specifically a Gen 2 Pokemon. Because that, that in Slow King, you have to have a King's Rock to evolve it. See, Flygon is coming out. Uh, it only has one weakness to Dragon. Well, that's pretty dope. That does sound kind of overpowered. Oh, I forgot it's a ground type. Yeah. I mean, I'm I dumb. I'm dumb. Also, I forgot that, yeah, ground type against what I'm doing is not the best idea. Mega Punch going to work out, maybe? No. Maybe one of the few times light screen would actually be effective here. Yeah. I was just curious what that did. I didn't think it'd do much damage at all. Swift always seems like the... Swift is always a great move for, like, really fast Pokemon. Like, I don't know, Togetic. Uh, what's another one? I really need an Ice-type to rate Flygon. He has a four times weakness to it. Probably. I mean, when I get to, uh, the fuck it is. I'm trying to remember the damn town. The one to the left of Saffron, the department store, Celadon. When I get there, hopefully I can buy some TMs that are actually worth a fuck. I mean, I've gotten a couple along the way, but a lot of them are garbage. Fuck you, dude. 
Alright, there's number two, Dratini. That shouldn't be hard at all. Um, actually, I think even maybe Thought could take him down. I mean, what what you know what what could it learn it at, at that stage? I'm the only the only dragon move I can think it it could have is um uh the hell's it called dragon rage? I'm trying to remember what's that like really low tier dragon move? I mean, I guess technically Twister isn't that a dragon move technically? Ice beam, ice beam is in the game corner. I might, I might grab that. Hell, I could probably teach that to uh, Whiskash. Probably. Take that bitch down, goddamn. I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised. Thoughts um, synchronized didn't cause him to be paralyzed too, but. Whatever. Alright, about there. Another fucking Flygon, dude. Let's get Jabu Jabu out again. You assume Whiskash learns it? I, I would think it would. It is a water type. After this fight, I gotta let my cat in. She's going ape shit outside. I don't know why. It's actually pretty damn good outside for late September. She probably just wants to cuddle or some shit. You know how cats are. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's time to use a super potion or something here. I still need to sell that nugget there. Get some fucking cash money. There we go. Is that all or is there one more? Okay, that's all, thank God. I heard there was a cut master on board, but he was just a seasick old man. Cut is really what? Are you calling me gay? Stop that guy, stop, I'm going. All right, see ya turd. Let's get our, let's get our ass up here. You feel hideous, erp. That doesn't sound right, but we're just gonna ignore the fact we were rubbing his back there. You wanna see my head and cut technique? I could show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know you could have this, the hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon and you can use, you can see it cut anytime. Well, hell yeah, now we got two of them. You can chop down small trees, why not try it with the trees around Vermilion City? I mean, yeah, that's the idea. Uh, I'm actually curious. Can we grab the barf? <laughs> Yuck, shouldn't have looked. Nice, nice. He has nothing else to say, huh? Okay, how, how is the captain of a ship... How does the captain of a ship get seasick? Doesn't that sound like a fucking dumb idea? But, whatever. We've done all we can here, so let's uh, go back. Farewell to the SSN. Bye bye. Maybe he's drunk. I guess that's a, I guess that's a valid way to call it seasick. You know, you can't have the word drunk in, in Pokemon, unfortunately. The ship set sail. Yep, sure did. Alright, so heal my Pokemons real quick. I gotta... I, I guess I might as well teach Cut to, to Victory Bell. Because like I said, I'm probably not going to use him for the rest of the game. Whenever I get a fucking fire Pokemon. Besides, his moves kind of suck anyway. 
mean, the only good one is Bullet Seed. Only because it's the only grass move I have. I could probably get get rid of Swallow here. I mean, like the thing is with Swallow, I could just use a potion instead of that. So is it really, is it really any different? So let's go ahead and teach that to him then. There was a drunk guy in the OG Japanese version. You see, that would have been funny as fuck. They see us, us stupid Americans. Oh my! Oh God forbid! There's like one ounce of alcohol in the game. Oh my God! So fucking dumb. Oh uh, yeah, let's get rid of Swallow. Like I said, I mean, Cut isn't. I don't think it's a great move, but it's not the worst one. I mean, it's it's definitely more helpful than Flash is. Let's get, what is, let's, let's get rid of Swallow here. Machine set. Alright. Awesome. If you give me a minute, I gotta let my damn cat in.
cat is inside and I blew my nose, so feel better. I always notice like if I really if I feel really congested if I blow my nose it tends to help. Unless I'm just sick then nothing can fix that. Fortunately I only get sick like well, when I say I get sick, like, you know, when I get, like, the flu or the cold, that's, that usually happens once every year and a half or so, something like that. But sick is in, like, getting the runs? It seems like that happens fucking once uh, every two months, which I fucking hate. But what can you do? Get out of my way, bitch. I mean, it doesn't help I can't even eat spicy food anymore, because that always gives me the runs, too. Which is unfortunate because I used to love like pepper jack cheese and and you know good shit like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was gonna take on take down Lieutenant Surge now, wasn't I? Cut that bitch down. Let's go ahead and go through here. Lieutenant Surge has a nickname. He's a lightning Pokemon. He's an expert on electric Pokemon. Blah, 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 blah. Beware of paralysis. He's very cautious. Yeah, whatever. I mean, supposedly it's electric type gym, but let's see what, what these guys actually have. Okay, so this guy has a fire type in particular. Which is interesting. America exists in Pokemon, apparently. I mean, uh... Yeah. Huh. The Lightning American, yeah. I mean, I think it's more interesting the fact that, um... Well, I mean, Lieutenant Surge is basically a... He's basically a war veteran. Um... So I'm kind of curious, like, what what war was he fighting in? And did the war involve Pokemon? It, it just, it might have. Uh, I actually probably did, to tell you the truth. I mean, in this... I mean, in this, in this universe of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon are essentially animals. And animals have been used for warfare for thousands of years. Also, I think uh, Thought's gonna get knocked out here in a sec. Yeah. Damn. Well, let's get uh, well, let's get Skullfuck out. Fuck it. Get some Rock Slide up in this bitch. You know one move? One move I'd love to teach Skullfuck is Hyper Beam. Although I, I wouldn't doubt if he learns that naturally, actually. That would be pretty badass. I, I don't think, I think only like a handful of Pokemon actually learn Hyper Beam naturally. Then again, maybe not. It's always been kind of an overpowered move. Well, especially in the first gen. God damn, that was borderline broken. Uh, let's, well, let's, let's just face all the trainers here. It's like, whatever. I always thought the puzzle here was kind of dumb. Like, the fact that you have to have two switches on, like, simultaneously. Ow! Ah! Fuck my back! The fuck. Something's going off my back right now. Damn. Uh, go back to Skullfuck here. Ow, my fucking back. Ow. Fuck. Like, it's like the, like the right side of my back. It's just like in pain. The fuck? Damn, dude. Oh, 
Hold on a, hold on a sec, guys. Ow. thing is this isn't the first time this has happened like I get like this weird ow I get like this weird pain on like the right side of my back sometimes it's like from I don't know I guess like from my tailbone to like my my shoulder bone it's like what the fuck is that Oh, for all I know, I have something serious, but, I mean, it doesn't happen often enough to where I'm extremely concerned with it. I don't know, I think I'm just, like, something about the positioning of, like, how I sit, maybe that's affecting it, too. Ow. Hopefully it'll go away here in a bit. It just happens from literally out of nowhere. Like, I'm just sitting here. Ah, oh, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Getting old fucking sucks, people. Okay, this guy mentioned, like, something about the army with, le le with Lieutenant Surge. I mean... So, I, I guess all these guys are veterans, then? Is this, like, the... Huh. Is this gym like the Pokemon version of the American Legion? Is, is that is that what's up here? If so, that's kind of awesome. See, I'm trying to think. I think I've actually been to an American Legion um, building before, even though technically I shouldn't have. I think I was doing a delivery on my job once or something like that. Love how much money this guy gives me. Um, I don't actually remember if this barrier stays open or not, so I'm going to go heal real fast and I'll be back. Yeah, that back pain went away all of a sudden. I, I do not know what causes it. Hopefully it's not something serious. Actually, just real fast. I've been wanting to do that. I wanted to sell that uh, nugget here at the shop. Uh, oh, don't do that. Yeah, sell that shit, dude. Give me that. Hell yeah. You know, while I'm at it, I mean, I, I've been wanting to do this anyway. Let's buy some more potions. Five of those. And let's get five of each of these... Uh, status heal things okay five awakenings five ice heals uh just for grands let's get a couple repels here all right cool now i know i wanted to s i know i wanted to Heal my Pokemons first. Let's let's do that now. You heard people who use potions in Pokemon have tiny dicks. Um, okay. I don't know if you're trying to get a certain validation of the size of my of my dick on Twitch, Walker, but. Unless you're a hot ass bitch in real life, you're not getting any dick pics from me. I'm just saying. Although I'm sure, if, I'm sure if you go to other Twitch uh, Twitch people on here, they'll 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 be more than happy to send you nudes. Probably. Okay, so I know you have to hit two switches here. I thought I always thought this was like the most annoying shit in the original game. Although I think kind of the trick is that normally uh, when you hit the first switch, then I think uh, the switch is supposed to be like adjacent to it, you know? Like I think that's the only hint they really give you for this. 
Okay, so what about this one? No. Damn it. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this puzzle. Also, I could be wrong. I don't think it'll actually ever be a corner where the first switch is. Could be totally wrong, though. If I beat if I beat Surge without using potions, you won't spit on you won't spit on me when we're having sex. Uh cool, I guess. I don't care to have sex with you, Walker. I'm sorry. I just I don't find you that attractive. I can't help it. Anyways, look, we're gonna have Skullfuck take the lead here, since he's a rock type, you know. And I believe, just like the other trainees, he should have, um, fire Pokemon. What, are you gonna kick my ass, you piece of shit? I will defecate in your face and kick your head thereafter! And punch your belly! And defecate in your face again! Man, this guy has some fucking issues, doesn't he? Now, the funny thing is, the way Lieutenant Surge just talked to us is probably how he should have sounded in the original game. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, he does have fire Pokemon like I thought. Walker, you like him? I like him too. He's he, he's keeping it real, you know? Ooh, I didn't even think that he would have a metal. I didn't think he'd have a steel attack. That's not good. Can we kill him? Kill him? Kill him? Kill him? Kill him? Kill him. Yes, thank you. Ooh, a nine tails, huh? Uh, I mean, I guess more rock slide. I mean, I do have a couple. Of, I do have some super potions for a reason here. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. Yeah, gym leaders have potions usually too. That's fine. I wish he would have had a funny outfit on like Brock did, but oh well. Here we go. That was a bunch of experience there. Hound Doom? Uh, actually, I think I will just use Wish Cat Whisk Cash for that. Mainly because I can use Earthquake. Or Magnitude, whatever the fuck you want to call it. There we go. Probably one more hit will take him down. No? No? Alright. We did it, guys. Awesome. Hell yeah. That seemed pretty damn easy. Now that's a shocker. You're the real deal, kid. Fine, take this Thunder Badge. Hell yeah. Cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly lightning quick anytime, kid. Your special kid, take this. What is that, Thunderbolt, I think? Oh, Shockwave, okay. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. Okay, cool. Wait, you don't have anything else funny to say to me? Uh... Oh. Yeah, great advice. D did you guys know electric type moves are useless against ground type? I never knew that. Never knew that at all. Alright, cool. Well, hell yeah, third gym badge, guys. Fucking melting faces left and right. Uh, no, let's see, if I remember right, I think I get fly from, um... Uh, uh... I think I get fly from a... from a person in Celadon. I think. Unless you're Pikachu in the anime. Yeah, then... <laughs> yeah, totally. Then you would totally win against Rock and Ground-type Pokemon. I, it always felt like Ash, like, fucking simped out on getting, like, half of his badges. It's like, come on. Like, I remember one time he was facing, uh, uh, uh what's her name? Erica? Or what? No. No, yeah, Erica, the, the grass Pokemon teacher. Or 
the grass Pokemon uh, a gym leader. And like, I don't think he actually managed to beat him in a it beat her in a fight. But what ended up happening is I guess Team Rocket was fucking around because they always fuck around, and they're trying to kidnap like uh, her her Gloom or whatever. And then like Ash saved the Gloom from the burning building or whatever, and as a sign of appreciation, uh, she decides to just give him the badge. It's like he didn't earn it, dude. You gotta you gotta actually fight and win to get the badge. Come on now. It's like come on, Ash, fucking bitch. Honestly, it's a miracle he even got to the fucking Pokemon League, in my opinion. Alright, there's that bike voucher. I know you got something from talking to him. Alright, that'll be cool. Your favorite Pharaoh will fly me anywhere I need to go. Have no need for a bicycle. Well, I would think not, dude. You're an adult. I'm fucking 10. Chairman is very vocal about Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. Okay, whatever, dude. Someone brags, brag right back. Yeah, that definitely sounds like uh, certain people I've met in my life. I was just wondering if there were like bestiality posters on the wall. That'd be funny as hell. Uh, I think I think there's actually a in there like a little side quest about like some people in here exchanging mail. Oh yeah, the union room. I remember that was a. Oh wait, where? A letter to Saffron, okay, I guess I gotta talk to that person then. Dear PP, or Pippi, hoping to see you soon. I heard Saffron has trouble, has problems with Team Rocket. Vermillion appears to be safe, yeah, for now. All right, so I guess it's time to move forward then, or move north. Okay. Did I heal my Pokemons? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's go north, I guess, guys. To Saffron. Yay. Dealing with a Picnicker. Too bad I can't steal that Jinx. I totally would for Morrow, but... No stealing in this Pokemon game, no sir. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt bad. Ow. Fight the fuck out of Jinx there. <laughs> oh, for a second I thought Lovely Kiss did something else. So I was like, oh, don't, don't, don't do that. Well, I do have an awakening. Might as well use it. Uh, here we go, there we go. Bite again. It says I have it says I have 65 followers now. With did I get a follower yesterday and I didn't notice or because I don't recognize it in my mini feed. It it says I mean the only thing something happened was Shoddy apparently uh, Shoddy gave me some biddies a couple days ago. Other than that. I don't know, maybe it was a bot who followed me or some shit. See, I, I do want to switch out, actually. Uh, let's get Vibrator out here. Punch that bitch in the face. Love Thunder Punch, dude. Yeah, 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 whatever. Give me your, give me your fucking change. Now to face your little girlfriend here. I, I always assumed like these two were kind of a couple, but Pickner, Picknicker Isabel. Well, yeah, I might as well keep going with what I'm doing. Oh, you fucking detecting bitch. I like how my uh, avatar is named Skullfuck, yet it's a female. Like, how does that work out, huh? 
Is it actually a, uh, is it actually a hermaphrodite? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, got a slow king. I'm definitely going to switch out since it's a water type. Uh, well, I guess, yeah, probably vibrator would work out. Because if Bellin would out, it'd probably use psychic and knock it out. Uh, yeah, it's just thunder punch like always. Boom, bitch. Chimet Chimecho? I think that's just a straight up psychic type, isn't it? It was definitely a one off Pokemon from Gen 3, to, to my knowledge. I don't even think it evolves to anything. Maybe it got an evolution later in, in the franchise. Alright. That bitch got wrecked. Let's use a super potion real quick. There we go. Alright. Uh, pretty sure we have to go, yeah. We have to go past this, this uh, little dock here. Oh my god! <laughs> I was kind of waiting to fight one of these guys. Yeah, this is a Squirtle, guys. Noticed it, it kind of looks like someone in particular. But yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to catch him just on principle. Pretty sure I'm going to knock him out, though. Prob yeah, let, let's bite him one more time and then try to catch him. I mean, this is just too cool not to catch. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, fucking Ninja Turtle Squirtle. It's it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, I'm gonna catch it just for grins. I mean, how can I not? Oh. Am I gonna have to paralyze you, you fuck? Come on. Unfortunately, I don't think I, I think this might be the only sprite that's actually adjusted on the field or in battle for this game. Like, I was asking my buddy if, like, there's more than just this Squirtle that got its sprite, you know, change. And he said he didn't see anything else, which is unfortunate. Catch him. Catch him. Thank you. Yeah, got me a Squirtle, guys. I doubt it's, uh... I kind of doubt it's back, what do you want to call it? It's back, um, Sprite is actually adjusted, but we'll see. An overgrown Squirtle that was trained by an anthropomorphic rat master in the art of ninjutsu. That sounds about right. That is pretty fucking funny, though. Also, that is a tall-ass Squirtle. Did you see the height of that motherfucker? It says he was 5'11". Like, holy fuck. Uh, I mean, I... Understandably, I should name it after one of the Ninja Turtles. I'm trying to think. Uh, what, what about Raphael? I'm trying to remember how to spell it. Isn't that how you spell it? Roughly? I can always change it. Yeah, we've got Raphael, guys. I am curious... What will it look like with its back sprite? We got Tangela here. No way. Even even its back sprite is adjusted. That's pretty fucking awesome, dude. Huh. That is awesome. Uh, not going to be using it in battle. Because, I, I mean, I already have... Uh, you know, I already have a uh, water Pokemon anyway, so. But still, that's pretty cool. Never seen you around. Are you good? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Are you Are you good? Got a bug, bug trainer. Elijah. I always thought that was kind of a dumb name, but. Oh, I forgot to adjust my lead guy, didn't I? Oops. Let's get Jabu Jabu out real quick.
Wheat sent another pretty useless move in my opinion. I mean, it's not even very good for what it's intended for, you know, to attract Pokemon. It's like, to my knowledge, uh, like the Pokemon you attract with it, it's like, it's like exactly the same as just running around, you know, the grassy areas. Uh, let me switch you out for Thought, actually. I want Thought to get a bit more experience here. And this lemonade tastes kind of weird. Probably because it's not cold anymore. Now let's get Thought out, see if we can do anything cool here. I don't really remember how good ice affects Psychic. Apparently it's effective. I'm sick of only having confusion here. Like, this is not gonna happen. It's like, take that bitch down. I want Psychic. Either Psychic or Psybeam. I'll take one of the two. Ooh. I think that has a chance to freeze me, doesn't it? Um, shit. Let me use another super potion, I guess. <clears throat> Stop doing that. You fuck nut. Stop growling. Stop it. At least he's confused now, so that's good. Hopefully he'll, he's gonna hit himself. Yeah, he, he knocked his own bitch ass out. Hell yeah. Get that 24 level, bruh. I just can't win, huh? Well then stop playing, bitch. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Well, I don't really give a flying fuck. You're in my way. Okay, got a slow bro here. Probably should. Yeah, probably should, should switch out. It's also a psychic type, so. Let's get a. Well. Ah, no. Let's get Vibrator out. Yeah, yeah. Thunder Punch again. Knock your bitch ass out. A whooper? Isn't that a... I'm trying to remember, isn't that like a ground Pokemon technically, or... or is that a Quagsire? Oh, let, let, let's, let's get Bellend out for once. Because if it's ground and water, then I could totally wreck it with Bullet Seed. Yup. One time, that's all we needed. Of course, it, was, well, it wasn't really worth Jack for experience, but. All right, cool. I was just somewhat curious about, okay, there's one more trainer here. Okay, this, this little route wasn't really changed all that much, was it? Oh, actually, hell, that reminds me, that other route, I, I think there's still a couple of items we could have gotten from there. I might have to go back and check that out at some point. See a grump pig, huh? I know it's a psychic type, so I guess I'm gonna bite it to death. There we go. Hell yeah, you flinched? Let's keep it that way. All right. That worked. Metagross, that is definitely a whisk cash. Bitch to fuck up. Or Jabu Jabu, I should say. And it seems like everyone has a fucking Metagross. God damn, did all these people play through, uh, you know, Ruby and Sapphire to get a Beldum? And then they used 
their pro action replay to make it evolve at level 16. Okay, a Lunatone. I know that's technically a ground type, so... Well... Actually, this probably... Yeah, this'll work. Look that bitch up. Yeah. Ding. Fries are done. That's an interesting name, K Kago. You are definitely not from America, sir. Yeah, something about you're going back to the forest. Go ahead, I don't care. Citrus berry, cool, cool. Underground path, Cerulean City to Vermilion City. Yep. Sounds about right. Uh, now, I actually don't remember if there are trainers in there or not. I don't think there are, but I'm going to go heal real quick. I mean, who knows what else the ROM hack changed about, you know, the map. Da, 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 da. All right, let's. Well, actually, I, I still can't go through this normally, can I? They need a drink or some shit. Yeah, you're thirsty. Whatever. All right, let's do it. People often lose things in the darkness on the underground path. Yeah, I bet. I believe you can find a couple of things here with the item finder. Oh, you know, I just realized something. I need to go and redeem my bike, don't I? I remember that being a lot shorter. Or a lot longer. I right, do you have Fampy want to trade it for my Quagsire? No, not really. Fampy is too fucking adorable. <laughs> like, come on. Okay, yeah, so yeah. I remember there's a tree here. Yeah. Uh, what was here again? Oh, the butcher shop. Oh my god. It's fucking crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think. Was there something else we could have gone to with the move cut? There might have been. I don't. I don't remember. Well, wait. Well, wait a minute. Um. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I think I remember now. Or wait. Where does Diglett Cave go to go again? Oh, okay, yeah, no. I think I went the wrong way. I think I'm actually meant to go back to Lavender Town. I'm not, I'm not going through Rock Tunnel again, that's not happening. But if, if I reverse myself, you see, my head is so fucked up because I'm used to going through, you know, fire red and leaf green a certain way. But since the progression is all fucked up, like, I actually have to go to Lavender Town and then come into Saffron from the right because I remember there's a tree there. And I didn't have cut before, so... So, yeah, I'm actually supposed to go basically reverse of what I did. Yeah, Diglett Cave goes to Pewter City. I had to remember that for a minute. I don't really care to face any of these trainers. They're probably too weak for me at this point. I wouldn't mind getting some items here that I might have missed, though. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Okay, there's one. There's one item there. A wild whalmer right in the middle of the... Right in the middle of nowhere. I saw whalmer was kind of a cool looking Pokemon. He's pretty thick though, isn't he? He's real thick. Ah, shit, he saw me. You're laying down some cables? Then why the fuck are you out here? At least he only has one Pokemon here. Executor. Well, 
Well, I believe it's a psychic type, so I should probably avoid it. Uh. Well, let's just. Psychic and psychic and grass is definitely something different to have in Pokemon. Oh well, hell, if I think about it, it's like one of only. Well, actually, I don't. No, I I'm pretty sure Executor was a psychic, even the original. I mean, there is Execute, Executor, and then Abracadabra and Alakazam. And Jinx and Mr. Mime. I can't think of any other psychic psychic Pokemon. Oh, Mew, Mew and Mewtwo. Other than that. Although everyone knows, like... Aside from Mew and Mewtwo, uh, Alakazam was, was the dope Pokemon for psychic in the first game. Okay, I think I got every item. That's visible, at least. So then let's go over here. Still can't get up the Snorlax, so we're gonna avoid him. Yeah, you just let him chill there. And then go to Lavender Town, heal up again. And then go left. You guys seem pretty damn quiet. I mean, I understand, like, I know Funk is working right now, but... Then again, I'm not sure who else is in the chat. Probably a couple of lurkers, but that's that's okay. Alright, quick heal real quick. Okay, so route eight, chop the tree. Not really sure why, why there has to be two trees here instead of just one, but okay. You're AFK for a bit, eating something and doing laundry, but you're there. All right, that's fine. You're a rambling gaming dude? Well, that sounds like me. Okay, Walker, you're falling asleep since you've been up since 4.30 in the morning? Uh... Bad Walker? Don't know. Bad Walker. Okay, Bagon is definitely... He's de his level is definitely up to my, uh, up to, up to my standard now. Dratini, I think I could take it down too. Hopefully. I don't remember Dratini looking so purple. Like, it looks purple to me. I don't know why. Dragon Rage, that was the move I was thinking of. Damn, dude. I think I can take him out still. There we go. Damn, not enough for a level up, apparently. I got a bunch of money. That was pretty good, though. Sure wish the Pokemart was uh, open in that town. Oh, well. Guess I'll have to make do without. Another route that's totally janked up. But it's kind of fascinating because I don't know what's hidden around here, you know? I guess we have to go up here. Okay, I figured the girl would see me no matter what. What's a cute, round, and fluffy Pokemon? Uh, Jigglypuff? Clefairy? Gengar. Um, that's creepy. You know, I think the the creators have actually like confirmed that Gengar is actually supposed to be like the ghost of uh, of a Clefairy or a Clefable. 
kind of fucked up if you think about it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Um, I mean, I guess we can only really use a Thunder Punch here. Yeah, level 25 thought, guys. <laughs> okay, got a Mischievous here. Um, I don't know if that curse is still active or not, so I think I'm going to switch you out with, uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe Skullfuck can do it. I mean, it does no bite. And I think Mr. Viss is strictly a ghost type. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that works. For some reason, I kind of find Mr. Viss kind of cute. I don't really know why. Like, I can't really describe why I think Mr. Viss looks cute. Stop. So, don't be so mean to Michael Affair, you asshole. Oh. Well, don't get in my way, bitch. Looks like we got some twins up ahead there. Might as well take down the scientist real quick. You should be informed. You need strateg strategy to win at this. Okay. What are we playing? Tre are, we, are we playing chess now? What a super nerd, huh? Super nerd Glenn. That does sound like a nerd name. FMO likes those anime eyes. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. Could be. Oh, you fuck nut. Well, hell, you just, <laughs> you just killed yourself because rock slide, bitch. Okay, a ninjask. I think I can take it down. I mean, it's just a bug type, right? Ooh. As long as it's not a uh, shit ninja. Oh, Gyarados, definitely switching you with. Uh... Let's see, Gyarados, Gyarados. I mean, it's a, it's a flying and water type still. I'm trying to remember. Well, we'll find out soon enough. I think by Gen 3, it's officially a dragon. Okay, yeah, it's still a water type. Or, well I, well, I mean, it's a flying type no matter what, so. Yeah, that worked out. Rock Slide would kill Shedinja. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> Surprised those girls didn't see me. Oh, those girls did. Or one of them did. You must look silly standing here like this. Um. I mean, I don't really give a rat's ass what you think about me. Uh, Megan, if that's your real name. Maybe that's your street name. I've got a thought that's going to fuck that Ivysaur there, so yeah. Huh. Huh. Vine Whip was not very effective. I bet Vine Whip it would be effective on um, some people in the chat. Like Walker, I bet he'd like getting whipped at. But that's okay. Walker is probably wanking off to this stream right now anyways, so. Okay, kill the Viper. Got a Ghastly. Okay, let's switch that out then. Um, Ghastly. Give Vibrator out again. You had one earlier. You had a you had a 
Do had a session earlier. That's good to know, Walker. I kind of wonder if you could ever pass No Nut November. I don't think I could ever, to be fair. But I'm wondering how much you would struggle. Could probably get thought out again. If it's just a... S yeah, Grass and Poison. Confusion would be good against it. There we go. Bulbasaur, definitely take that out with thought. You went six hours once? Was well, six hours without without um, wanking it? That's not very impressive. I should probably go back in here real quick. I kind of wish these trees were destroyed for gur for good. It's like, who keeps replanting these fucking little trees here to get in my way? Is these whole hours blasphemous? It is for you, Walker. Well, I think you need to see somebody for help. Just saying, dude. Yeah, Funky, you just summed it up. Walker, he can't even make it through a work shift. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. I'm certain this is a double battle. So let's just do it. Oh wow, a pupitar there, guys. That's cool. Um, actually, I think confusion would do, and then water gun would do for him. Yeah. What do you do on your breaks? Um, I mean, honestly, it depends. Like, on my breaks recently, so I found this one website that actually was talking about, like, stories that people had from, like, video game stores. That's what I've been looking at on my breaks. Some of them are kind of funny. And, like, a third of them are about, like... A third of them are about, like, girls who work at game stores that, like, teenage, teenage boys, like, come in and they assume, like... They don't play games. I don't know why would, why you would think that nowadays, but that seems to be like a third of the stories on there. Some kind of weird misogyny. And some of them are just from straight out like white trash parents that are like, that don't know a single lick about video games. Like for example, I just saw a story, something about, um, uh, what was it? Like, it was about Grand Theft Auto 